Good afternoon, I'm Joshua Rose here, American Art Collector Magazine. Uh, as you know, one of the things we're known for with American Art Collector Magazine is figurative art. Since our beginning, almost 15 years ago, uh, we've always uh, had a strong focus on figurative art, and, and some of the top figurative artists working today first appeared in our magazine. One of them being uh, Michael Carson. We're in Michael Carson's studio today, uh, talking to him about his figurative work, all in a, a effort to uh, promote our December issue, which will include our special section on figurative art. All right, uh, Michael, thanks for having us over. Thanks for being in my studio. What a great spot. And uh, you know, we're based in Scottsdale, you're in Phoenix, so it's just a, a drive over, so uh, it worked out well. Uh, you know, one of the things that I've always liked about your work is you're always changing up, you're always doing new things, uh, very innovative when it comes to figurative work. Tell us what, what you got going on right now, what you're working on. Well, I'm working on my uh, new show for Bonner David Gallery, which will open on December 21st. Uh, should be about 10 to 15 new paintings, hopefully um, some sculpture, we'll see. Wow. We'll see. Um, figurative base, uh, of course, you know, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to push it in a different direction. Um, uh, really trying to keep the gestural quality of the first half an hour in my painting uh, there as long as the painting is, is still being worked on. So the idea is the finished product would still have the looseness and the organicness and the flow of, of the original gestural piece. So I'm trying to figure out how I can keep that the whole time. It's kind of my goal. And what is that? Is that because you just like the immediacy and spontaneity? I like the flow of working that way. I like kind of, you know, standing back and just doing general things and, and, and you get a much, much more uh, natural sort of movement to the piece. And then, you know, sometimes adding oil, you get a little too analytical, you think about it too much, and sometimes you can lose that. So, I, I'm even considering possibly painting and then going back over it with sort of a drawing technique. I really kind of want to keep that feel. So, right onto the canvas? Yep, right on top of it. Really? And what, what do you think kind of pointed you in that direction? Oh, uh, well, you know, I, the, the first 45 minutes to an hour of a, of a painting is always my favorite stage of it. And, you know, to say that uh, I don't like the finished product is not necessarily accurate, but uh, some reason, uh, a lot of times I can lose the spontaneity and the, and the newness of that, of that first hour, and I really want to try to capture that toward the end of the piece. That's, you know, basically it's just, it's just the desire to have that sort of, um, that, that initial uh, uh, sort of uh, spontaneity and that, the, the, the freshness I, I feel when I'm, I'm into a piece at the beginning. I want to have that feeling toward the end of the piece as well. And do you think that's one of the most creative moment of the painting? I think that's where the artist actually shows their thumbprint because I think that's where the mechanics of the body is working more naturally. You know, so people, you know, they, they apply paint differently and that's how you can tell uh, an artist's style, you know, it's how they move. And then, and then, you know, we start getting into things in corners and little areas and then we're all kind of, you know, we're all trying to kind of paint this sort of representational thing, but the first, you know, when you're standing away and you're moving, it's kind of a more natural aspect for the artist, I think. I see. It just kind of flows. It flows. It just comes out. Put the music up and, you know, get moving. Wow. Well, we're really excited to see what you're coming up with, and thanks for having us today. Thanks. So, so this is, again, this is December issue of American Art Collector, our, our uh, special section devoted to figurative art. Michael Carson is going to be in that issue. Let's make sure you're in there, too. Thank you. Thanks.